The last unit in the, uh, the actual uh, product range is the RCC SKJ uh, power box. I, I guess it doesn't actually give you a, uh, a terminology or, or, or a term for this unit or even a, a name as such, but it's just identified as being the black unit. Uh, doesn't look too much different from the yellow one that I, I showed a little bit earlier on, but what you will notice with this one is that it has a fairly large heat sink on the back. So if you were using, say, more larger capacity batteries, uh, it would give you a little bit of uh, redundancy with uh, getting rid of a little bit of heat uh, out of the unit as well. I couldn't really get much uh, generated uh, using it, but um, like I said, um, I, would, I didn't have the servos under full load, and maybe somebody with um, some fairly high torque, uh, uh, large quarter scale type servos may, may be able to get a little bit more heat generation out of it. But uh, like I said, it uh, makes it a little bit thicker, as you can see, a little bit wider there. You're looking around about 15mm um, thereabouts uh, width, so a little bit wider. But uh, as I said, the um, unit itself with the heat sink on it makes it a little bit heavier, but um, also gives you that little bit of added um, safety with um, heat, heat distribution. Uh, nothing t uh, different compared to the other units, especially the yellow unit. Uh, Voltage is the same, uh, runs between uh, uh, anywhere between 4.8 right up to about 13 volts. It'd be pretty safe to operate. Uh, the receiver voltage, it is set at uh, 5.2 or thereabouts. Uh, the servos, as per the uh, unit that I demonstrated earlier, the yellow, can be uh, set anywhere between 4.8 up to 9.6 volts. And that is done via the screwdriver here. You can utilise the um, additional switch, uh, optional switch, which I demonstrated earlier, this switch here, that can be utilised in there as well, and that will give you a digital readout. So all that's uh, uh, pretty well standard to uh, some of the other uh, units that I've demonstrated. Uh, CDI ignition, you've got the provision for that as well. I like this unit, I find it um, quite uh, substantial, quite solid, uh, well built. And um, it's probably my preference. It's a little bit dearer than the others, but like I said, it's just something about it. It's just a little bit, uh, bit solid and uh, would be suitable for a, uh, any of the larger models that you'd, you'd need to put it into. The uh, unit itself has a uh, little switch here that you can actually check the input voltage and also the, um, uh, the output voltage for the uh, uh, servos. And it's, like I said, it was very similar to what I demonstrated with the uh, yellow unit earlier on. Uh, the light, the idea of that little light there, which I probably never explained too much in, earlier, was that lets you know what the voltage is on your battery. So once it starts changing colour, green means the voltage of your battery is okay. When it starts to flash, it lets you know that the voltage is getting down a little bit. When it goes to red, it's telling you that your CDI ignition voltage is getting a little bit low. Uh, the yellow, the uh, green light here, the little LED, little uh, rectangular one, that just tells you that whether it's switched on or switched off. What I'll do uh, shortly, I'll just give you a bit of a rundown on setting it up and uh, just give a, a bit of a brief demonstration on, on the unit as well. So thank you.